I don't know about y'all, but I need a weekly reset. Like, it has been a week, okay? I just wanna clean my space and pour into myself. Before I do some gentle yoga, I just wanna clean up my space just a little bit. It really helps set the mood for relaxation, ease any anxiety I may be holding from the week and prepare myself for the next week as well. I really wanna do a little bit of yoga because it has been such an adjustment for my neck and my back to carry around these braids. If you aren't aware, I got braids for the first time in six years. So I'm not used to this anymore. And if you wanna check out that vlog, it's live on the channel already. I know I'm dramatic, okay? I know I can be a bit over dramatic, but honestly, I thought the pain would subside in a few days, not in a few weeks. Gentle stretching and doing a little bit of yoga here and there has really been helping me out though. My braids look a mess. These braids are low key putting me through hell. I don't see how y'all do it but we move. It is time to wash them though, and we'll get into that later. Wow, for the notes. Namaste, Yogi. Hey y'all, so this week, I feel like I always come on here and say this week's been a lot, but <laughs> there has been some things going on and it's a busy week. It's always a busy week and I've tried to make sure that I have some type of self-care in the week. I'm making sure that I'm, t I'm taking care of myself during these busy times. So I just did a good yoga session, a quick little one. And I'm about to go ahead and continue some of this self-care um, by reading my book. I am a firm believer, I said this before, but dessert before dinner, like if I have the chance, I will take it dessert for before dinner. I am a sweets girl. So let's go ahead and get this frozen watermelon dessert because it's absolutely delicious. This is such an easy little treat. You can pick any frozen fruit and blend it with Cool Whip. I chose watermelon because it was the tail end of the season and I just, I just love watermelon. This was such an instant treat. I hope y'all do this, especially when it starts to get warmer outside. Again, it was still a little warmer when I filmed this. I'm still reading all about love and it has been such a good non-fiction read for me. I love all things about love from books to movies to to shows and all that so it was so interesting to see someone try to articulate and approach love in a scholarly way i haven't read something like this in such a long time and i read it so fast y'all so if you're like me and really love talking about love all things love check this one out speaking of weekly resets and self-care this just came in the mail today these are literally the best incense out there. Like seriously, these are the best incense out there. I will say this girl freaking tried it with these incense though. It has been a good like month and some change since I ordered them and they're just now coming. So, so I'm happy that they're here, but I'm low key side eyeing her whole entire team at this point because this has been some things going on that I just don't agree with. Um, but that's me. That's how I feel. And I'm, a, at the end of the day, mind my business because I finally got these expensive incense in the mail. So we're going to have a little self-care night and do all those things. And instead of lighting a candle today, I'm finally going to burn one of these in. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to wash my braids. This is the first time that I have done this in a very long time, but I quickly wanna talk through 
what I am going to do, my process and all those things. So I meant to wash my hair a little bit earlier instead of like at exactly the two week mark because I've been washing my hair weekly. If you are new here, I don't use anything on my scalp. So my scalp is very itchy and not used to this buildup of like gel. Even though my braider didn't use a lot of gel to mold the hair, it's still gelled there and it's not used to not being washed on a weekly basis so my scalp is very very irritated and I'll show y'all here in a second I need to change it around to give y'all some better lighting but I did not plan to wait this long but I had to because I needed one of these guys and I could not for the life of me find one in stock anywhere so I ended up having to order this little squeeze bottle from Amazon and I plan to dilute some shampoo on here so I can get to my roots and all those good things. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into the shower. So real quickly this is what my scalp is looking like there's a few flakes and it's just generally dry and I don't want my hair to be dehydrated while I have a protective style in. That is my main goal so I don't have to do a ton of work on the back end when I'm done and ready to be out of this protective style. Washing your hair in a protective style is so important, especially if you want to avoid any scalp irritation and dry, brittle hair. I feel like a lot of people, when they go into a protective style, they want to achieve some type of length retention, but you have to take care of the hair underneath it. Okay, that's enough preaching, but I really feel like that feeling of water when it hits your scalp is truly priceless, and why would you deprive yourself of that? I'm so glad I got a nozzle squeeze bottle whatever you want to call it for my hair while I'm washing my hair in these braids it allowed me to shampoo and condition my hair in like less than 10 minutes I looked at the time steps it was less than 10 minutes girl it was so fast I diluted an all-purpose shampoo I use AG balance but feel free to use whatever all-purpose shampoo you have on deck and I followed up with the AG boost to condition my braids I decided to wash my hair every two weeks while I braid instead of weekly but if you are more active than me weekly would probably be best I will say if you do wash your braids please make sure you are properly drying the hair you don't want to potentially introduce bad bacteria to the hair or scalp from not drying it properly if you want to see my full braid wash day make sure to subscribe to the channel because that video will be up in a few days where i will go more in depth about tips and tricks and the full product list i've been loving using the peach slices snail rescue jelly mask it is so good, especially if you have hyperpigmentation and you have any blemishes that you wanna target with a mask. This is so good. I love snail mucin in my skincare products, but if you have a sensitivity to it, of course, don't use it. But it's so good and instantly, like, just makes your skin glowy. Y'all will see, y'all will see in a second. I've been trying to be a bit more intentional with my weekly resets and my reflection in general. I said in my first visual diary that I journaled for the first time in a long time and I learned so much about myself that I discovered that I need to be journaling again. I was using like a digital journal, just using Google Docs for various reasons, but I wanted to explore writing these thoughts down again and I started to write in a journal again and it was just pen to paper. It was just so nice to see my handwriting again on a consistent basis, working remotely and working digitally all the time. It was so nice to take a break away from the screen time and it really just helped me not worry too much about the technicalities of writing and my grammar and all of those things. I could just spill my guts out and whatever I'm feeling and it was just very therapeutic. And if you were thinking about journaling again, 
I highly suggest it. I know I've been suggesting a lot of things throughout this weekly reset, but if you only want to take away one thing, I suggest it be journaling. I don't know why it took me so long to get back to this, but it was such a great experience. And I hope you all take that away from this video that you should be writing your thoughts and journaling again thank you all so much for watching if you like this type of content from me make sure you check out my other weekly reset i'll have it linked in the description below and make sure you like and subscribe i'll catch y'all in the next one bye y'all